What's up, everybody? I'm Greg Mathis Jr. And I'm Elliot Cooper. And welcome, welcome to, to our, our channel, channel, Greg, Greg and Elliot. <laughs> what? That was good. It was good. Okay. Um, yeah, so today we're going to start with some intro questions so you all can uh, get to know us a little bit. You got the questions? Yes. Okay. What's the first one? Oh, where, where are you all from? So, I, um, Greg, I'm from Detroit. Detroit. Wait, where is it? Detroit. Yes, I have to raise my hand. <laughs> uh, so, I'm from Detroit. I'm from Charleston, South Carolina. Well, Monk's Corner, South Carolina. But we both live here in uh, Los Angeles now. Cali. LA. How did you two meet? Ooh, how did we meet? Well... We met, what was this, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day 2016. 2016. Yep. Through a mutual friend of ours from South Carolina. Mm -hmm. One of our mutual best friends. And we hung out and we had a really good time hanging out at the bars and just conversation wise. Yeah. And then we went back to Greg's place for more conversation. And the conversation turned into more conversation, and then it turned into some more. Don't we don't have to go on. That. Okay, that's enough. Right? Basically, it was but, Valentine's Day. There was a group of a bunch of single friends, and one of our mutual friends organized like a night out on the town for all of us. So we went. We all went like bar hopping and stuff, mm -hmm. and then um, and the whole group ended up back in my place. And then slowly but surely, like everybody trickled out. And next thing you know, it was just me and Elliot left. Having conversations. Conversations. <laughs> <laughs> so awkward. Yeah, I know. But after that, when, you know, I, had, I was late for a wedding, to be honest. I was supposed to be at a wedding the next day. And I left and like my friends were waiting for me. They're like, what were you doing? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> And like I wasn't out then, so I was just like, ah, oh, you know, I met somebody, blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. And I was texting Greg like the whole time. Like we all did like a road trip back to Greenville, South Carolina, and I was texting Greg the whole time. And I was just like, man, I really this wasn't me being drunk. I really enjoyed this conversation or conversation yeah. amongst other. Yeah, I don't know if you missed that because Elliot, you know, you talk so fast sometimes. I think you realize that. He meant he wasn't out publicly as a gay man, so like a lot of his friends didn't know. So he had to be real crafty that next morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know the question. What were our initial impressions of each other? Mm -hmm. hmm. In 2016. You want to start this one? Well, what was your initial impression of me, Elliot? I thought you was fine. And then He was really down to earth more than I thought he was or would be. Um, and down to earth in conversation. Uh, he was able to relate more than I thought he would be able to. So, yeah, those are my first impressions. Okay. I can agree. I definitely thought Elliot was fine when I first met him. Um, and I had seen him around town a few times. Mm -hmm. I did think he was a little bit of a playboy, so that made me nervous but he proved otherwise. Ooh. It's a good thing to be a playboy. I mean, you gotta be cute to be a playboy, right? Oh, right, right. <laughs> you don't have many ugly playboys. So that's a compliment, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the questions coming. How long have you been together? Ooh. Well, we gave that away. We already said 2016, yeah. so, so what's six that? Six years. Six years, going on seven years. Mm -hmm. Oh man, it's coming up soon too. Um, what made who made the first move? You did. Oh, as a lie. You did. How, what? How? Explain that. Because you, we went out with a large group the night that we first met. Okay. And the entire group went home. Elliot was the only person that stayed in my apartment after everybody left. And it's not even like we knew each other that well at this point. Like. We hadn't really hung out. We, we really bonded all night. That was And so staying at somebody's house to three AM drunk when everybody else has left. 
in my opinion, means that you're making a move because we're not going to just sit there and stare at each other. Yeah, that's not what he said when I was there. What did I say? You said, hey, can you come over here and sit with me? Yes, because you were sitting all the way across the room. I couldn't hear what you were saying. So all the way across the room, guys, is four feet. I was not <laughs> oh, whatever. Across the room. You make it sound like I, I did not live in a closet, so that's, <laughs> that's not true. You may have been in the closet, but I didn't live in a closet. Oh, all right. <laughs> I am big. So you don't think you made the first move? No, I don't. Because I did tell you to come sit on the couch next to me. Is that a move? It is a move. But I feel like that was the second move. The first move. And y'all actually do us a favor. Drop a note in the comments mm -hmm. and let us know who you think made the first move. Exactly. So the story is, as I said, like Elliot stayed at my condo when everybody left. We're drunk. He stayed. He chooses to stay there to 3 a.m. in the morning by himself. We got back at 2 a.m. Don't try to make it be like I'm And everybody, home. it was not, okay, if that's what you want to say. The fact is, everybody else left, that's and true. Elliot stayed behind. That's true. And was giving me eyes. That's what I told him to come sit on the couch next to me. Exactly. The first move was him staying and giving me eyes, I think. But y'all let us know who and made the first I move. I think he made the first move because he asked me to come to the couch. Like and the rest off. and the rest is history mm -hmm. still what did we do on our first date <laughs> yeah you do this one <sighs> so for our first date i made elliot dinner at the house because when we first started dating neither one of us was out as gay men publicly and so we were very discreet about like how we hung out when we hung out so i invited him over to my condo and made him dinner and um that's what won you over, right? Yeah, the first date was very interesting. <laughs> um, the food was good. No, no shade there. Um, was it? It was. It was good. But the, he had like a appetizer, which was I still have trouble saying this cheese, but burrata cheese mm -hmm. and tomatoes. Now, I mean, I'm used to that. If you go to a restaurant, you may have that cheese and tomato. But sitting at a table with, on a first date, I was just like, whoa. Then, did you have the balsamic? I stuff? did. Yeah. I was trying to impress him, y'all. So I called up one of my bougie friends and I said, I got this guy coming over for a date. Like, what do I do? How do I impress him? Bougie Lifeline. What? Bougie Lifeline. Bougie Lifeline. Mm -hmm. And he said, um, he told me. <laughs> He told me, he said, well, you should start with some burrata as an appetizer. And he told me to get a big, one of those big balls of cheese, like a big ball of burrata. And then he said, put some balsamic over it, put a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of lemon juice on it. And uh, what, I have tomatoes, I think, too. <laughs> and then I had like some crackers on the side. But the main course, I went a little simple. It was just like salmon, yeah, and, salmon. and arugula salad right. or something like that. You know it. Um, but it was good. Mm -hmm. It was good. good. It was just uh, just it's different. A little too bougie for your taste, right? Yeah, I wasn't expecting bougie. Um, what was our favorite date? Ooh, favorite date. Mm -hmm. Oh, my favorite date when we first started dating, maybe like three to six months in, I can't remember exactly when, but mm -hmm. we did a competition for who could plan the best date. Oh, yeah. I still think I won that competition as well, but we ended up going to the Poconos and it was amazing. I mean, it was our first trip together. We had a little cabin in the woods and we went horseback riding. What else did we do? We had a little um, obstacle course where you mm -hmm. went through the, um, the woods and there was like ropes and I don't even know what it is. We went to a local that. bar. We did go to a local bar. We could have probably skipped us. I was going to say, we could have probably skipped that one. <laughs> no, that was my favorite date, I think, uh, because it was like random. And we made a trip out of it. So we were in, still in D.C. And we were able to stop in Philly. And then we were able to you know, have the cabin and the Poconos. And oh, the we did stop in Philly, yeah. too. I forgot about that part. Yeah, because we drove up in the Poconos from D.C. We were living yeah. in D.C. at the time. So we drove up from D.C. through Pennsylvania, stopped in Philly, um, and then drove all the way up through the Poconos. It was, that was a good trip. That was a fun trip. I had planned us a trip to New York. We were supposed to go see a play. We were going to go see a nice dinner. And he vetoed that. No, we both agreed on this. It was a competition. We both... 
I know why you didn't want to take me to New York. He wasn't ready to be seen with me in New York. That was not it. <laughs> not true. He's like, I ain't no telling who would run up to and to up there. All right. Who said I love you first? Okay. I did. I can admit, yeah, I definitely did. And he didn't you say remember it. when? He didn't say a damn thing back to me. You remember when? Was it year one? I think it was over a year. Yeah, he didn't say nothing back to us. I said. He, oh, he said thank you. I said I love you. He said thank you. Oh, that's shady. I did not. What'd you say? I'm sure I said I, I, I love you. No, you did not. What did I say? Though? You did not say I love you. I know I didn't say thank you. It took you at least a month to say it. I remember that vividly. I have a um, journal, and I. Ooh, you got that. I'm joking. <laughs> What's the best part of being together for you all? Mm. The best, oh, you want to take this one Go first? Ahead. I mean, I would say the best part of being together is just like the love and support. Like he, Elliot is really my rock. And I don't say that to be cliche, like it's the truth. Like he's my confidant, I tell him everything. Like I don't know how I would be able to do half the things I'm able to do now if I didn't have him. And I'm not going to sugarcoat I mean, it took us a lot of growing and a lot of back and forth to get to that point. Relationships are hard work. And so I appreciate just how much we've grown and been able to really work as a unit now and be each other's support system. Um, the best part of us being together is Greg helps me exude a confidence that I never knew I could have or would, I don't know how to explain it, but I've never felt that type of support uh, before. And that's the best part about us being together amongst like him just making me comfortable with my goofiness or awkwardness or quietness. He still- I feel like I'm more goofy and awkward than you. No, you're just more loud and wild, but, you know, I think it's that balance that he gives that makes me, that's the best part. There are a lot of parts I like, but I think that's the, probably the best part. It didn't sound as good as yours, but... I felt it. Yeah. I felt it in my heart. Yeah. Thank Feel you. That. Feel that. I love you. Okay, too. Mm -hmm. That was that all the questions, one? unless I deleted one. I don't think I do. Oh. Hmm. Well, that was a good start, right? That was a great start. How about this? Y'all got to keep watching, yeah. tune in, subscribe, and we got more stuff on the way for you. This is a quick little intro. That was a good intro. And honestly, if y'all have more questions, drop them in the comments and we can answer them there too. Right? Yeah. Don't, over time. Like, we're not that fast. <laughs> Gotta work for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, thank you, and we hope to see y'all soon. Thanks for tuning into our channel. Peace.